a musical theater performer. I'm an actress, singer, and dancer. I'm a musical theater actor. I am a singer, dancer, and actress. Performer. I am a British coronavirus performer. Lockdown. 19,522 have come back positive. The coronavirus death toll, and if anybody has any doubt about what coronavirus can do. I urge you, at this moment of national emergency, to stay at home, protect our NHS, and save lives. And so, then COVID-19 happened. I am a graduate and I have no job and I've been waiting for so long to get into that audition room and get the job. And now it's not, it's not a possi possibility. It's now a reality. So what was I doing before COVID-19? There has not been a lot of work as a performer coming my way. Um, it's, it's not an easy life, you know, you, can't, you sacrifice everything for what you do. Um, I've been struggling with anxiety and depression for a couple of years now. I was considering to quit. So after a while you could see everyone getting really creative and active on social media which is partly great and amazing but it can also make you feel like pressured to be creative as well and it can be a lot harder for artists in general all over the world not just in London this industry already feels uncertain to start with but I I feel like there's even more uncertainty than before many people still don't know if they're going to get furloughed from their part-time slash zero-hour contract jobs. Because the culture is going to be the last thing that is going to be supported for sure and we all know that because we were the first one getting shut down and we're going to be the last one coming back up. And to put something out there and constantly on that loop of oh there's this going on and that and I should be doing that. But then also they can't put through their self-employee their self-employed um, things because they haven't been self-employed long enough. Luckily I got furloughed but I know many people didn't and haven't yet. But that is actually not what I fear the most because I know at some, at some point everything's going to be back to normal. I, I think I have a unique perspective on this uh, isolation, this lockdown and the self-isolation -isola moment because I am scared that I'm going to lose that ambition that I had a month ago. It's a chance for me to finally, after years of not being able to rest physically, but mentally especially. But for now, I, I have this feeling of failing inside. Um, it's finally a moment for me to really gather my thoughts. Being isolated at home, this time has taught me to not compare myself to other artists out there, that I'm on my own journey. What I've got from this experience um, regarding my fellow artists and other performers was that we're resilient, we're resourceful and we can get stuff done. I have realised that I do need support. That means other people might be feeling the same way. As artists, we need to remember that we are a community. We can make our own work. We're not completely dependent on like the higher people in this industry to be creative. We are creatives as we are and we don't need to be sent a feed or anything to be so. I feel like this is the first time that I'm actually taking care of myself to just think of myself in the present without thinking of doing things that are related to my success and whatever I'm going to be in the future. The arts in general are so underappreciated. What are you, what are you doing right now? You're watching series on Netflix, you're listening to music. You, what makes you sane throughout the pandemic is arts. And this makes me so frustrated to see that there's still people that don't realize that everything that they do has some sort of art. Everything that they watch has some sort of art. Art is in, embedded in, in all of our cultures. When the industry goes back into normal, artists should bring 
their boundaries that they learned during the isolation, like to protect their mental health. Normally, you just focus on, oh, I need to do it this way, I need to be these, I need to be that, because that's what the industry tells you. We put a lot of effort into things that don't matter that much, into, into thoughts and people and situations that don't matter that much in life. It's because we love it and we love spending time with other people who share the same passion and there are many people around there and many people who will be there to support you. We have to appreciate art from other people. We have to support each other. Like, just take this time to think like, okay, through all the times I'm re really busy and worried about my industry and get the next job, you don't have time to actually stop and be like, okay, let's discover about myself. Because I think we need artists that are themselves, that bring their uniqueness into this industry. We are the generation that's gonna talk about this and that's gonna be able to create work and art about this. There's always something better around the corner. We never know when it's gonna happen, but there's always something better. We, we really do have one life. Um, it sounds like, it, it, it sounds obvious, but it's not. But what you've got to keep in mind is that it's fine to fail. Yeah.